welcome back traders to Statoasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. In today's video, I will uh, take you to the optimizer in uh, this part of the beginner series. The last video we did was about the uh, walk forward optimization and walk forward matrix. And the reason I'm taking you to optimizer now is because optimizer, it's all about uh, the walk forward analysis so what I did is I built two simple strategies this is uh, strategy one and you can see there is um, the ADX higher period and exit after bars period so it's very simple it's only two parameters and then I have a complex strategy which has many uh, variables to change so we can see the difference in the optimization now by the way uh, just a tidbit here if you pick a strategy and then go to edit and go to strategy this will dump the strategy in algo wizard and then you can add stuff to it or change or do whatever you like this is a simple way to take your strategy away uh, rightly to uh, algo wizard do some changes and bring it back of course, you can always save the strategy and load it back in Algo Wizard. But this is just a, uh, a help uh, tidbit. So I loaded the simple strategy here. You just click on click on load. And what we see now is uh, very close to what we saw in the last video. So if we go to the last video and you can see now, this is the walk forward analysis, the filtering, and the setting part. Then the setting is percent or days, floating or fixed, and then the out of sample percentage, and number of runs and number of tests. In Optimizer, you will have more control. So basically the ranking now is replaced by the filter for the walk forward uh, optimization. Money management is the same, trading options, data, this is all the same. In the retester, you get these here, money management, trading option, and data. So these are all the same. So except now ranking has changed to the work uh, forward uh, filters. And the optimization now, we have more control. Whereas before, we only controlled this uh, part. Now we have uh, these two parts also. So in the recommended parameters and automatic, this is what happens. O automatically, it will pick what parameters to uh, to optimize. And then this is the distribution. 20% up, 20% down, steps of four. So this combination will give us 12. That's the total combinations. Now you can change this if you go to your own setting. And then I will click manual here. And then I can pick and choose. Obviously, this is a simple strategy and we only have, uh, remember, we only have these two parameters, ADX higher period and exit after bars. So if I click on periods, it will bring what's available in this strategy, which is the ADX higher period, long and short. And if I bring the other parameters, nothing here, entry, nothing here exit and remember we have exit so exit after bars and this is the long and short so currently the value the current value for the strategy is 20 and 19 and this is the suggestion to optimize which is starting at 14 to 26 step 3 and if you click on auto preset select parameters you will get a percentage and a maximum number of steps so if I go with this, which is 35% up, 35% down, and maximum 30 steps, it will change this parameters. Now it's from 13 to 27, step one. And this now gives us a 44,000 total combination. And if you remember in the last video, where I told you that, um, that it doesn't matter what you put here, if you don't have enough number of, uh, of parameters, it will not uh, do 1000 tests 
and so now we know we know why because remember with automatic it was picking total number of 144 combinations and in manual we can go up to 44 of course i can increase this more if i can just do shifts and now i can do uh, 700,000. and if i auto preset the shift also i can reach 2 million now and if I do Boolean, which is to accept, allow uh, the double uh, uh, trades and on the long side and the short side. And now if I can do preset, and you can see now the number is uh, 34 million. So we will not do this. And even if I do this, I can still pick and choose. So let's say, for example, I'm happy with the, with the short side. So I will not optimize the short side and I will optimize only the long side and maybe the uh, the shift I don't want it to go to six and let's do I want to go to only three and that will affect the total combination of course so once I'm happy with this this is me doing it manually uh, of course, if you do a symmetrical uh, variable, then it will uh, match the uh, long with the short. And once I'm happy, I go to progress and let's start. Six hours later. Okay, now that is done. And we can see the same results like before, like we did in the last video. And the strategy failed because the robustness score must be a hundred percent to pass that means all of these has to pass everything else is the same like before now when we do the optimizer we automatically get the uh, system parameter permutation of course with the uh, default uh, with the default filter uh, it failed here uh, and we can uh, we can customize this and again, this is same like before. And if you didn't, please go and check the uh, SPP video. And this is the, uh, again, same uh, view like we did last time. List of trade and equity chart. Everything basically is the same like before, except here we have full control over what to do in uh, walk forward analysis. Now, if I load this strategy, the uh, the complex strategy, so let's clear this. So I need to load it up here because currently, even if you load it here, it will not affect it. This load is good if you want to do all strategies in data bank. So if you have number of strategies, you can load them here and do them together. But if you're doing this, then we have to load the strategy here. So let's load the strategy, the uh, complex one. And now we can see the periods have already one, two, three, six uh, variables already. And that alone is 15,000 combination. And if we add uh, the exit, And if we add shifts, and as you can see now, it's six uh, billion, four hundred million combinations. So that that's a lot, yes. And again, you can pick and choose what to do, and you can auto preset. And the combination is look no, it's, <laughs> it's too many to calculate. Uh, but you get the idea. Basically, the idea is full control or automatic. And you can even control the steps here, 25 and 25. And let's say uh, steps of two. So, uh, and recommended. And let's do the uh, testing and see how long this one will take.
walk forward matrix exactly the same thing it is same like we did in the last video in the retester where we have uh, uh, we can create a matrix of making many walk forward optimizations and the filter here and we can pick a region a stable region so same here except now we have again more control so this box is the same as in the retester but now we get these two boxes same like before where we can exert our own uh, manual control over uh, what to do and if I go with the uh, automatic recommended and let's do a small one so we can finish it quickly and let's start two hours later okay now that is done and again we get the uh, same view like before so everything is exactly the same except every time with the optimizer when you do a walk forward or walk forward matrix you automatically get the uh, SPP and this is based on the filter so 67% pass, that means 4 out of uh, 6, 33 and 50. Uh, but uh, our conditions is to have what? The, uh, the ranking was that I need 21 squares to pass a 5x5 five five, uh, matrix at 100%. And uh, of course none of them uh, passed. So that's it. I just want to bring this to your attention after the last video because basically the optimizer is just a more detailed version of the same optimizer that's in Builder and Retester, which is the uh, system parameter permutation, work forward uh, analysis, and work forward matrix. The reason this is built in is because what this does is basically it just calculates the median of all these parameters so when you do this when you do this the SPP just bring the uh, the median just calculate the median so it's easy to see but it basically is doing the same thing like the optimize it's optimizing all the parameters and since we can control here what to uh, what to do that control also exerts itself on the SPP part so as usual, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please uh, put it down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you soon.